What's up, my running weirdos? Hey, it's BC, and I am here for a pop-up. It's so hot in my house, I had to put deodorant on my boobs live stream right now. So here's what happened. I went to bed to take a nap after uh, Dull Cecile Runo's live stream and was feeling pretty good because I've got Savvy Lizer's, uh, of Savvy Writes Books live stream later on tonight where I'm co-hosting. I thought, I'll take this quick nap and I'll be fine. My house was perfect. There was nothing wrong with my house. I mean, it was a little on the warm side because, hey, this is Phoenix and it's June. But everything was good. I woke up drenched in sweat for some reason. And, like, it feels a million degrees in here. It's, like, our air conditioner's not working at all. I'm going insane. But I woke up wanting to write really badly. So I thought... Why not? This will keep my mind off of the heat, maybe, just a little bit. So keep my mind off of the heat, and I'll be able to um, get some words done, because I've been kind of on a roll today. I've been recording videos today. I've been working on my outlines for videos today. I have been um, writing on the second draft of my dark fantasy work in progress today. And now I'm going to put a little bit of work into my um, paranormal mystery urban fantasy the third book in my metaphysical chronicle series so that is pretty much what's up with me we got a few people here already in the chat and i am so happy to see all of you guys it makes me so happy it makes my little weirdo heart burst whenever um everyone decides to like indulge me during these pop-up write-ins because i know i do them i've been doing them a lot lately but I've been really motivated to get writing done. So I'm very, very happy that everybody is wanting to join me. Um, so uh, Dal Cecile Runo is here. She's saying I'm on a roll today, but I know for a fact she was in Lisa's stream this morning. I know for a fact she had her own stream today. She's gonna be with me again later during Savvy's stream and she's here during my pop-up stream. So she's on a roll too. Hello, Jeannie! Time to work on your urban fantasy, and you are going to flake out and play your video games, but see? See, it's a good thing that I did a pop-up stream today. Uh, Debbie, hi, good to see you. She's going to outline today. Here's me in the chat, just talking to people a little bit. Sako to me! Woo! Hey, Sako, it's good to see you. I am really, really glad that you are feeling so much better. And that you decided to come to my stream. Jeannie says, it's too much of a headache to try and work to find, replace, to strip paragraph forming. Did it before, but still not working. Easier to just rewrite into a new doc. Sometimes it really is easier to rewrite into a new doc. Um, that's one of the reasons that my second draft, I, um, that's one of the reasons that for my second draft, I always type it anew. Um, I do it for a couple of reasons. I do it so that I can guaranteed to find all the errors, although I might make different errors, but I'm guaranteed to find all the errors, and I know from one copy to another what I've changed for certain, what I've added and what I've changed. Um, but the other reason is, since I don't do paragraph formatting, I don't do any kind of like actual book formatting or anything like that, I don't um, have a good idea of how long my book is going to be in an actual physical book form. And so I start with my second draft of actually putting it in proper formatting and, and using book formatting for that. Before that first draft is just like word vomit onto the page and get everything out that I possibly can and who cares if it looks pretty. Jeannie is writing in WaveMaker and transferring to a Word doc, and it is a nightmare to do that. Yes, it is. I use WaveMaker on a fairly regular basis, and it really is. Um, I don't transfer to a Word doc. I transfer to Google Docs, but, I mean, it's essentially the same exact thing, and it is kind of a, a nightmare to do that. Hua hua, Joanne Ninja Hen in the house tonight. Tonight for me, which means it's tonight for her. Yeah. Eva had a crazy good nap. Didn't expect the kiddo to sleep so well, but stretch. I'll take it. <sighs> Work end starts in an hour. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, mine was a crazy good nap, too. And it jumped on me. Yes, the whole heat of my house thing right now. My face is really red. If if you all can't tell, my face is really red. That's how warm I am. And I'm about this far away from just tossing my hair up into a messy bun because 
I got like literal sweat just rolling down my back and from my hairline and it's really sucky. Good to see you, Shamsi. Thank you, Janie. Yes, please do hit the like button. Not only does it help out my channel, which I'll admit it does help out my channel, it helps um, streams like this get out to more writers who are looking to join the AuthorTube community who are looking to be more productive. So I've had several people say that they have found my stream simply because they were Googling or they were YouTubing for writing sprints and writing productivity streams. Hey, Sherry, good to see you. Um, hot as hell, but I'm doing good other than that. I got, I got lots of energy, so that's a good thing. What's up, weirdo? Here's one of my fellow Browns of no relation, but we will take over the world. Oh, no. That sucks, Sid. Well, maybe you could do some, like, voice dictation on your phone, like do, te do speech to text on your phone or something like that. Maybe. That, maybe that would work. I know it would be kind of complicated because you'd have to go back and forth between the two, between YouTube and, yeah, that would be a bit of a pain in the ass. Just just go over there and just be like, poof, dad, I need to work now. Hey, Morgan Lee, good to see you, girl. Hey, Spence, uh, you might actually be here to work. <gasps> I am surprised. No, I'm not that surprised. You do get work done sometimes. You act like you never get any work done, but you get work done. Sherry is working on their dark, their horror dark fantasy novel, waiting for video to upload onto Memory Stick. And Joanne, I have to write 1,000K until sleep, and it's already sleeping time. Well, let's see if we can't knock that out a little bit for you, that goal out for you. Yeah, messy, messy buns are everything. I agree, Shamsi, that they really are everything because I love them. I, I'm not so big. So I got put on a new medication this past fall that's made me, unfortunately, one of the side effects is eating more and gaining weight. And it's made me gain a bunch of weight. So I've not been as keen on my messy buns as before because my hair down makes, makes me look a little slimmer. Um, you know, there's some little vanity going on there, but I do love me some messy buns. I do love me some messy buns. <laughs> I figured that's what you meant, that you just meant a thousand words, that you didn't mean a hundred thousand words um, or 10,000 words or anything like that. I figured you just meant a thousand words. So we'll see if we can't knock out some of those words, because if you were going to try and knock out 10, like a hundred thousand words before bedtime, I could be like, girl. Hey, nobody got nothing on you. Um, people saying hi to each other. Um, StreamYard jumped. Doll says, I'm here, I'm here. I'll use the sprints to edit that video description. Awesome. Shamsi thanking Doll for her live stream earlier today. It was very... Uh, yeah, it was very brave. It was very, it's it's just what Doll does. It's just, Doll is just always promoting everybody and always promoting people who really deserve it. And it was really sweet to just have a, a reason to just put a call out to all of the, the black author tubers out there and all of the black writers out there and just be able to highlight them, even if even if necessarily they didn't have anything that was like quite ready to be out yet. Like Cache didn't, she doesn't have her book um, finished yet because she's still working on it. She did have a um, an amazing article, that amazing article that we, you know, was is well worth the promotion. So. Debbie says, I would have done that and probably be in a bikini. I've dealt with Arizona summer and a broken AC. So there's still some air conditioning going on in my house. I can feel it, but it's like 85 in here. And we are an Arizona household that keeps that shit cold. We keep everything like a freaking iceberg. Um, so, yeah, we pay for it. But we're, if, if we didn't, my partner would be like, I'd be introducing to a bucket of sweat. That would be, I'd be like introducing people be like, and this is my partner in this bucket. Don't worry. He'll resume solid form sometime like in November. 
Um, so we keep things pretty cold so that he's very comfortable all of the time. Cause also he works outside in, in the heat. He's in, he's in the construction materials business and he's got to work outside, um, with truckers that are, that have come to get their materials that are needed for like concrete and, and asphalt and stuff like that. So I like, we like to keep the house cold. I have to bundle up a lot and we have a ton of blankets around because I can't stand it quite as cold as he likes it. But right now I would totally take it. Uh, Sherry says, yay, got two out of three videos edit edited three videos will get uploaded this week possible a fourth video depending on if i get the first draft done this week that is really cool that is cool so i usually record my youtube videos that come out on mondays and wednesdays i record them on tuesdays and thursdays um and then that way i can be part of i can be available on mondays and wednesdays when they go live for like comments and things like that um i thought about doing them um, premiere style and then that way I could have a live chat when they come out but really I don't think my videos are at that interactive that a live chat would really work all that well um, but um, I've considered doing it in the past I'm just not sure if I'm gonna do it or not we'll see we'll see but that means I usually end up editing my videos on Wednesdays and Fridays. <laughs> so it'd be like, I might have to when timer starts. Just be like, oh, elbow check, dad. Ooh, my laptop now. Just wrestle them. See, it'd be like, turn it into like Mortal Kombat. The prize being the laptop. Morgan Lee is going to be working on editing their video for Friday and hopefully starting on their new work in progress retelling. That is cool. Author tube, you're a dick. Um, doll wanting to know if Shamsi has a channel and if so, they'll add your link. She'll add your link. Yeah, Morgan, we did give you a shout out um, actually during Doll's stream. So she called on all of us to kind of put in the chat um, any black author tuber that we could think of um, to promote and to to raise up um, during the chat. So uh, I know your name went in there a couple of times from from those of us who were like, um, these are the one, these are the black author tubers that we know of, and they're awesome, and you really should go and support them. Um, Yeah, just all letting her know to catch the replay and that her channel is going to that Morgan's uh, channel is going to be linked in the description. That's what she's working on editing. Sako needs to do a ton of videos like tomorrow. Well, Sako girl, you've been sick. I mean, I know it sucks because it means you fell behind, but don't get yourself, don't, don't exhaust yourself. We want you well. We want you well. Everybody's uh, doll saying hi to Sako. Sako saying hi back. Morgan will definitely catch the replay. Hello, hello, Yaza. Good to see you. Ha, 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 ha. Yes, victory, Sid. Sid just totally bullied their little brother into giving them their laptop and that he was only going to play music on it and that their little brother needs to write. Your little brother's got a phone, I'm sure. He could totally play music on his phone. Need a laptop to write. You win. Mortal Kombat. Okay. Um, all right, so I am thinking that we should probably do a writing sprint because that's what I said we were gonna do during this time. Um, this is not what I wanted to go to. This is what I want to go to. Technology is my friend. Okay, so um, because I am seriously doll, you are? All right, everybody, stop. If you are not already subscribed to Doll Cecile Runo's channel, she is nine subscribers away from 400 subscribers. Just nine. So you need to go to that girl's channel right now, right this second. 
like click off my live stream for a second and type her in and go to her channel and follow her. Her videos are the bomb. Her live streams are amazing. She's super supportive. She's the best alien in the world. We definitely, definitely need to go and help her make 400 subscribers if we possibly can. Yaza says eight now. Ha! Jeannie subs to you a little bit earlier today. Off and Morgan Lee says, done. We're getting there. Dollar's giving out all the love. <laughs> Eva, go, go, go. Right now, go. We'll get you there, girl. We'll get you there as best as we can. Spence got some delightfully brutal feedback. Brutal. I love it when it's delightfully brutal from their best friend, Critiquer, and stoked to write now. I am super excited. Joanne's upset that she can't subscribe twice. So am I, Joanne. I'm upset I can't subscribe to Doll twice. Spence is now subbed. We are closing that gap. We're just closing it in. Just closing it in. All right, let's do this whole writing thing. And in honor of Ms. Runo, So Dahl says that it'll be one year that they're on AuthorTube this June 11th and that this is incredible. 400 subscribers is really good. So you are doing amazing. Sid says done. You'll have to give us an update because I lost count of how many people that was. But you should be like within like three or four subscribers now, I think. <gasps> Joanne can. She can subscribe twice because she could do tell no one my secret real identity, Dahl. <laughs> Um, I think Doll is the one person you can uh, you can definitely trust with a secret real identity because we are lucky if we even get to glimpse the magnificent Doll in her alien form. Sherry says already subscribed and can't do it twice. She wishes I might be able to. I've got an an old channel that I might be able to. I have to go and look. Doll is down to needing three subscribers to hit 400. Ah, Sherry is gonna, su gonna subscribe with her other account. As a matter of fact, let me just go and look real quick and see with my With my old account, this is important. I want to get you to 400. I want to get you to 400 today so that you hit 400 before your anniversary. Okay, and I also, so I just subscribed under my old account, and now I'm going to send a message to one of my peoples. She's, she subscribes to, like, all my stuff and is, like, super on top of it. She's one of my patrons, um, which if y'all want to become a patron, all my stuff is linked down below, including my merchandise store. This shirt is in my merchandise store, and you can get it. I got a bunch of other weird stuff on there too. She says she's happy to, and she's going to. She just subscribed, doll. So I'm thinking that should put you up to 400 now. Sid says 400. Joanne says 400. So I was like, oh god! I could just hear you now. I could hear you like ah. <laughs> Doll Cecile Runo is so happy. We're getting all the loves. Eva saying, saying we need a party tonight, but oh wait, we have a party tonight. It's a sleepover slumber party. So happy anniversary, doll. I am so glad that you could hit 400 while on my stream. And we got you there before your one year anniversary. 
got you there a whole week early before your one week anniversary or your one year anniversary. All right, if it gets like weirdly crackly, staticky sounding, I got a kitten playing in a box full of packing materials beside me, so. All right, Doll says happy YouTube anniversary, or Jeannie says happy YouTube anniversary to Doll. Jeannie says party with tacos. I do have tacos. We had tacos for dinner, not last night, but the night before. I have leftover tacos, so I may eat a taco while on the live stream tonight. Y'all are going to get a special treat from me. You're going to see something different than all this hot mess going on behind me for the live stream tonight for Savvy Writes Books because the coolest place in my entire freaking house right now is fortunately my bedroom. So y'all are probably going to be seeing me live stream from my bedroom later tonight. Of course I had to be on my stream. Of course, that's what sisters are for. I don't know if it goes bad or not. Does anybody know if open vodka goes bad? A 10 year old bottle. Well, that's um, that might be a hallucinogenic drink for you at this point, I don't know. Congratulating uh, Doll on 400 subscribers. Doll, you guys are incredible. You tell me what you want to see from me. I want to see you do more videos. Lauren is here. Hey, Lauren, good to see you. Morgan Lee had tacos tonight. See, tacos are, it's, it, I mean, we're just carrying Taco Tuesday into Taco Wednesday. It's, it's fine. This is like a natural evolution of life. So Dal says we're all going to have tacos, drinks, sleepover party, supporting authors. This is life. This is the best life. <laughs> Joanne Ninja had said that she put some things which are not exactly legal in Germany in the vodka and never dared to drink it. As soon as I complete the 100,000 million bajillion 1,000 words, she will dare it. So Lauren would like to see more poetry readings. Yaza yeah, said that vodka doesn't last more than a week in that household. That would be whiskey in my household. Whiskey doesn't last more than a week in my household. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna, if I want to have some drinks tonight, I'm gonna have to go out and get some. I may just message my roommate and be like, on your way home from your girlfriend's birthday party, could you swing by the liquor store and get me some whiskey? I need my hot toddies. All right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so let me go back to my now channel so that I can bring up the timers. I mean, I guess I could bring it up on my old, but I got a whole playlist of timers on my channel channel. So. I do not know what this stuff is. What is this stuff? Halina? I'm, I'm guessing how to say it. I don't know if it's the heat in the house at the moment, but my like nose is all stuffy too. All right, timers, timers, timers. So we will start off for 15 minutes for our first sprint and we will use Ms. Dahl's 15 minute timer because she just hit 400 subscribers. Stop. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all something real quick. This is who decided to come join me. Yeah, he's gotta be like right here in front of my screen lately. So. Like, gotta be like totally right here in front of my screen.
he wants to be on my keyboard really badly. I, he's, I've always wanted a writer kitty. I've always wanted a kitty that's just my best buddy while I'm writing. But my, because my 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 dog that I used to have that passed away a few years ago, she was she was ethically old. Um, but she was my little writing buddy. She would lay beside me, and and I would write, and she'd just lay like right beside me while I'd write. If I was writing at my desk, she'd lay at my feet, and it was all super fun, and I loved it. Um, but I've wanted a writing kitty, and I haven't had a writing kitty um, because you know cats much easier for them to lay on a desk. And so now, now. Um, Spot has become my writing kitty, and I'm super excited about it. All right, so we will get started for 15 minutes for our first sprint. You know, Sherry, I'm not sure he actually wants attention at this point because every time I keep trying to pet him, he's not interested in it. He's just like, and and ducks away from it. He just wants to sit here. Um, he might want attention in a minute, but as of right now, all he wants to do is climb on my keyboard. He doesn't actually want me to pet him. He just wants to climb on my keyboards. So he's a kitten. He's going to have to learn. Keyboards are off limits. Okay. So let's get started on this sprint. All right. Starting in three, two, one. Sprint!
All right. Beep, 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 beep. I am the beep of the beeps. Um, I totally got into rereading my last little bit of my um, work in progress before I got started writing on it and totally got lost in it and didn't even notice the timer going off. Um, so y'all got to see a blank screen and a couple of seconds worth of extra time. So everybody tell me how you did. Um, as I said, I basically was just rereading um, my document because I can't remember the last thing I wrote since I have been working on my dark fantasy um, manuscript. So I had to go back and reread the last scene and make sure that I was correct where I'm at. And I had to reread some of my notes and I had to check Facebook real quick. And I had to snag a kitten just now. I had to snag a kitten just now. Because he jumped up here, so he's asking for it. He is asking for it. Yes, he is. You can see he's running away. It's so terrible what I'm doing to him right now. Such a happy kitty. Such a happy human. You're not playing with that. All right. So let's see. Um, we had a couple people pop in. I think Chloe, hi Chloe, you popped in right as we were going on the sprint. So you got here just in time for that. Good to have you here. Um, Carrie popped in during the sprint. Hey Carrie, good to see you. During the sprint, Sherry didn't do any words. She needed to find out where she was in the document. Jeannie almost, uh, almost finished rewriting the problem format chapter. Sweet. Spence says zero words, but brainstorming and mom stuff, I thought real hard. Real hard? Was there a little vein that popped out on your forehead and everything? Joanne says she has 853 words left to go before she's allowed to do sleepy time. Morgan Lee almost finished editing their video until they decided they don't like it and want to record it again. That's always how it is. So. I recorded a video on Tuesday, which was a pain in the ass, let me tell you, because my partner's been home during the day, during his day job for this past week since we thought we were gonna be moving, and that didn't happen, so he wasted a whole week of vacation, but. Um, so I recorded a video while he was here, and that man does not know how to be quiet to save his life, but I got, all the way through it and I got all the way through the edits and I was watching the final edit edits before I put my graphics into it. And I noticed that there's a weird blur, like there's a weird like autofocus issue or something, even though my focus was locked, so I don't know what was going on with it, but there's like a weird blur in my face and like beside me from time to time. So now I don't know if I need to re-record it or if I should just slap an apology in like a text box at the bottom of it and just call it for what it is, which is, you know, it's a video that I had to do during the chaos of moving. So that's, I mean, I guess I could do that. Just slap a little apology for the camera focus on there. But I, but part of me hates that idea too, because I like to put out good, I like to put out as professional as I'm capable of, and it doesn't look like it's all that professional. So I don't know, I'll have to have to think about it. Um, adorable kitten, yes. Chloe says that they got negative 53 words that they are editing and then got hung up on figuring out a club for some of the characters to be in. That could be problematic. Uh, da, 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 da. Sid got 388 words from that stolen laptop from the little brother. Finished chapter seven of their short story. Woo, chapter seven. That's a long short story. Or, or is it just they're much shorter, the chapters are much shorter than usual? Because otherwise I'd consider it something chapter seven to be a novella. I guess that just depends on how many words it is overall though. Carrie is working on a Patreon post, need to figure out what I'm doing. They are a little difficult. They're not they're not terribly easy to do. So um 
it took me a while to kind of figure out my first one. Debbie got some outlining done. <laughs> Spin says, eye twitched. No vein in the forehead, but that eye twitched. I always get like this little twitch right here under my eye. It's not the eye, you know, like, which I don't know if that's where the actual eye twitch is supposed to be or whatever, but that's where I always get them. Lauren says, procrastination is the worst. It is, I have been, I am procrastinating, but I'm procrastinating from cleaning my house. That's my procrastination. Doll is still adding links. ACO, popped in late, not writing, eating hot dogs. Had to hang out with my fellow weirdos. Glad you popped in here, fellow weirdo. Enjoy eating your hot dogs. You can do anything you want during the sprints. I don't care. I don't care at all. Eat hot dogs, have tacos, clean your house, chase your children around, whatever it is that you consider productive and enjoy being part of the stream for, then come and enjoy the conversation. Uh, Morgan says, I was really pissed off in the video and it shows because that was my third time recording it. Yeah, I've done some videos where like, I've had some videos in the past where the subject matter has just been boring just because it's dry and kind of boring. So like literally in the videos, I'm like, what can I say? This shit is boring, but I'm gonna get through it as quick and painlessly as I possibly can. So maybe you just record the video and just be like, hey y'all, I'm pissed. I don't know if it goes with the tone of the video, but you could try it, it might help. Then you wouldn't have to keep recording. People saying hi to each other. Doll asking CO for, CO was who I forgot during your stream earlier. Doll, oh, I'm so stupid. I knew there was another black author tuber that I wanted to promote and was awesome. And I kept drawing a blank. I put, you know, so many down and then I kept drawing a blank. And I was like, there's somebody that it's like savvy and it's savvy. It is savvy. And I was like, it is savvy, but it's CO savvy. And I was like, ugh. Sid said their chapters are very short. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense, makes total sense. So again, I have Kitten. If I can get his whole body in here. I got Kitten. <laughs> He's just absolutely decided that um, he is going to lay on my desk. Da, 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 da. Yeah, he's not much of a talker. Um, I mean, he does talk, but... He's not a talker like his sister is. His sister is a tortoise shell, and she is a talker. She is, like, mouthy as all fuck. Like, it's crazy. Uh, Sherry is thinking of doing a book club and a writing club on Patreon with some other stuff. Was wondering what everyone thinks. I'm also thinking of doing a read-along kind of thing on YouTube. Yeah, along with Lauren, I think it's a great idea. Um, I, I've been thinking about doing a read-along with some of my work um, on YouTube. It might be something that I do specifically for my patrons, but um, I don't know. So far, they don't seem to be that interested in the idea, so I'm not sure. But I'll have to see what they're interested in in the future. Um, but if you guys are interested in me doing a read-along of my works, probably will end up being a drunk read-along of my works because surprisingly enough, I get really nervous when reading my own stuff out loud. So I'll probably have to have a little, little liquid courage. I don't have to have any liquid courage to sing or dance or stand on top of, you know, cars and protest and scream and like shout at people and I don't have any, I'm not abashed at all about any of that. But when it comes to reading my own stuff, I get super, super nervous and I trip over my own tongue and 
Yes, I have a Patreon. Uh, I, at least I, I'm pretty sure that's what you were trying to put in there. But yes, I have a Patreon. It is linked down below. You can go and check it out. Yes, okay, Patreon, you're right. Good clarification. Yeah, it is It is down below. I only have one tier. It's for one whole whopping dollar. You get private live streams with me. Um, you get cute, you know, one-on-one -on -one Q and A's with me. Um, you get to join my live streams. If you want to join my live streams, you also get like the behind the scenes, um, scenes that will never be included in my work or scenes that have never been included in my work. You get glimpses of those. Those are exclusive. Nobody else gets to see them at all. Um, you get stuff like that. Sherry says that Spot is so cute, and uh oh, her jealous is her cat is now jealous and demanding attention. Okay, Carrie, we will see you in a few moments. Of course, kids can sense when you're trying to work. It's like it's their sixth sense, basically. You're trying to do something, or you are getting some sleep. Let me see here. Um, we had. Some people chatting, just chatting. Yes, liquid courage. You could totally steal it. I did not come up with it at all. It's stolen from other people. It's talked about a lot um, in the theater and in karaoke, especially in karaoke. People talk about needing liquid courage in order to get up in karaoke. I do not need that, but. Other people do, and I get that they do, and it's all cool. All right. Um, so let's do another writing sprint. Sprint, 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 sprint. I don't get weird over words or anything, do I? I mean, I mean, I'm just kind of weird in general, but. Let's see. Let's do another timer. Um, if I can get my computer to do what I need it to do. What are you thinking, 15 or 20 minutes this time? I'm kind of partial to 20 minutes this time. So I think we'll do 20 minutes this time. All right, Dahl concurs with me for 20 minutes. So we will do 20 minutes. All right. 20 minutes on the timer, and we will get ready to go in three, two, one, sprint! Sprint! <laughs>
right, that is the 15 minute mark. Beep, 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 beep. A uh, whole bunch went on in the comments while I while we were doing that sprint. So <laughs> Carrie said that mom she mom was rejected during the sprint because baby wanted daddy cuddles. I could see how that would be. I mean, sometimes we just want cuddles from a specific person, you know. Sometimes that's all we're feeling is sprints or uh, sprints. Ha <laughs> ha is um, cuddles from a specific person. Like sometimes I want cuddles from my black cat. Sometimes I want cuddles from a ginger cat. Sometimes I want cuddles from my partner. Most of the time I want cuddles from my cat. Nah, that's not true. I want cuddles from my partner quite often. All right, Destiny. Hey, Destiny, good to see you. I am so happy, Lauren. Thank you so much for joining my Patreon. I am grateful. I am like so grateful for all of my patrons on Patreon. Um, you just, you can't, you don't even know how much it means to me. Everything from my Patreon goes right back into my channel and helping support my channel. As a matter of fact, I am almost ready to get a new camera for um, my videos. So you'll be seeing that. Plus it goes to helping me keep my Stone Age Mac, my Mac Mardigan um, MacBook, like in the, you know, repairs and in the maintenance because it is old as fuck, but it, I love it so much. It's so wonderful. Destiny is wondering if anyone else feeling that they just need a hug. I'm missing family today, feeling lonely and sad. Oh, uh, uh, let me hug you. Hugs. I give hugs. That's the best I can do. A virtual hug. But just imagine me hugging you right now, real tight, like this. Real tight. Let's all have a hug moment, actually. Let's all hug ourselves or hug somebody near to us if we can, if there's somebody near to us to hug. Otherwise, let's everybody hug ourselves. It actually feels pretty good. On top of that, it helps stretch your shoulder muscles and, and everything and your back muscles a little bit, but it actually feels really good to hug yourself. Let's have everybody hug ourselves. Um, let's see. Lots of virtual hugs, lots of virtual hugs. So how did everybody do on the last sprint? I think some of you already told me that. I have a tendency to forget to ask that, but I think we all know the drill by this point. Hey, Wendy Scribbles, good that you're here. Good to see you. Hey, Sarah, I think this is the first time I've had you on my channel. So welcome to my channel. We're all big old weirdos here. We like to just have fun, but you are definitely welcome to my channel. Today, I, am, I decided to pop up because I woke up from a nap feeling super motivated to write. And I also woke up to a, I think a semi broken air conditioner and I live in Phoenix, so that sucks. But um, I was feeling hot as shit. So I figured I would be, I would distract myself and write with some other weirdos. Um, let me see here. Eva says that they got skills, that the work end has begun. <laughs> skills are always amazing. I'm always like, I cannot want anything. And if somebody says, but I got Skittles, I'd be like, and I want those. I want those now. Sorry, I got people messaging me. Um, Joanne Ninja Hen, 177 words, and she will be right back. Jeannie started adding to another chapter. Hey, Devin, good to see you. Glad you could join. Sherry got 116 words. Spence got 28, 28 official words, over 10 attempts to rewrite this first sentence of this short story. That's okay, I understand. Chloe is on an editing roll, negative 187 words. CO says that every writer has that one guilty pleasure candy and Skittles is hers. Um, mine is gummy bears, so or gummy products. Any type of gummy I'm happy with. If it's a gummy bear, a gummy worm, a gummy snake, a Swedish fish, 
anything that's gummy, if it's like those little, those little fruit rings, fruit O rings, whatever they're called, anything that's gummy, if it's got gelatin in it, I am like so freaking thrilled. Some more virtual hugs going out. And you stream yard jumped. Stream yard jumped by a lot. Okay, y'all must be chatty. I'm loving it. Love it. Keep it up. And doll overstayed. I suck at sprints and they send hugs out too. It's okay. I overstayed that first sprint and I'm the one that's supposed to be monitoring that shit. So Lauren says nine words. Niece just left, so no free time to write. I do my writing at night like a true vampire. I write all the time. I write in the morning. I write in the afternoon. I write in the evenings. I write at night. Although I don't write at night as much because usually I'm usually I'm asleep. But when I do have insomnia, you guys know about it because I pop up in the middle of the night and do epic five-hour write-ins. Sometimes. Not all the time five hours, but a lot of times. Lauren likes brownies. Brownies are definitely good. I like I like enhanced brownies. Enhanced brownies are even better. But brownies in general are just good too. Spence hugged their mini nerd. He was mad <laughs> that you interrupted him for a hug. Get me mad that you interrupted him for a hug. There are more virtual hugs going on. CO says, I haven't hugged myself since primary school, middle school for the US, so thanks for that, BC. You're welcome. You're very welcome. It's important to like hug yourself every so often. I do it as like part of my stretching, but I also do it as just like a way to make myself feel good. It's kind of like it's kind of like um like petting yourself, like actually like petting your own hair and like or petting your like arms or anything like that. Jeannie wants to know if Skittles are chocolate. Skittles are definitely not chocolate. They are taste the rainbow of fruitness. Sarah says, love it. Happy to be here. Oh, your sister's going to go to Phoenix for school in the fall? Yeah, that's okay. If she's here in the fall, she's only going to get a little bit. If she's, if she's here during the school year, she's only going to get a little bit of the hot. So August, September, and October, warn her, it is hot, and it is humid, and it is gross. But November through basically usually may we have gorgeous weather like gorgeous weather and that's why so many people come to school down here specifically and then run away during the summer if i could run away during the summer i would and we do run away a lot we go up north a lot and we go down south arizona a lot where it has higher elevations so it's cooler um but here in phoenix proper it's satan's armpit and it's hot and it's just because we have like zero elevation and it's it just sucks during the summer. But it is 65 degrees, 70 degrees in January. And I can run around in shorts and a t-shirt if I want. And it's amazing. Um, yes, Spence says Skittles are fruit flavored sugar bombs. Yaza prefers original to sour Skittles. I'm not real keen on the sour Skittles either. Alley Cat's Awaken has joined us. What's up, Alley Cat? <laughs> Eva says, tiny chewy sugar discs. Lauren says, put Skittles in vodka. You're welcome. Let it soak overnight. Now, you can also do that with gummy bears. So you put gummy bears, you put vodka in like or gummy bears in a bowl of vodka and let them soak in overnight and then you got basically they're they're jello shooters in a bear form you're welcome try that uh, da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. And it all skipped, and it all skipped. Do 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 do. 
Okay, here we go. Um, talking more about some chocolate. Alley Cat took a nap and had one of those weird dreams. Lauren wants to know what dream. Now you kinda gotta tell us. You had a weird dream, you should tell us. Unless it's something you don't wanna relive or it's something that you just feel like, you know, you don't wanna share. No, no, no uh, pressure. Oh, uh, Haribu. Haribu jump gummies are the absolute best. The absolute best. Um, Sid says, Swedish fish. Surprisingly, no gelatin. Exactly. There is no gelatin in a Swedish fish. Um, I just always equate them with gummy products, and gummy products all have gelatin in them. But, but I love them. So Sherry says that they think that they are an oddball. They don't really like candy. I eat popcorn for a writing snack. Does that count? That counts. That totally counts. Um, my friend of mine, her thing, what she writes, she eats pretzels. And that's that's like her big thing. She can't get enough of pretzels. I have another friend that can't get enough of nuts when they're, eat, when they're writing. Which is probably a far healthier, both of those are far healthier than me just down in gummy bears like, ah, 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 ah. you know, but... Chloe has sassafras candies because I like old people candy. Sassafras candies are good. Jeannie says, 21 people watching, please hit the like button. Yes, thank you. Uh, hitting the like button does help me out, but more importantly, it helps get these streams out to other writers who are wanting to be more productive and wanting to get into the AuthorTube community. So I do appreciate that very much. Oh, yeah allergic to beeswax. So I am moderate, I am mildly allergic to coconut and Haribo has coconut oil in them. Um, so if I eat too many of them at a time, they give me a slight tummy ache. If I eat a lot of them, then they give me like hella tummy ache. But um, I can, but I, 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 I barrel through because I love them. I just plow through them. Uh, I'm glad Destiny that it helped. I know it's not as good as getting a real hug from all of us, but we do what we can. Um, <laughs> enhanced brownies are the best. I finally got my mom, got my mom to try some enhanced brownie. It was great. She, so my mom and my sister, brother-in-law, nephew, nephew's friend all came down to visit. Um, over Christmas, which this was the first time that they have visited me since I've been here in Arizona. And they drove down in my sister's RV. And I guess at one of the campgrounds, my mom was coming out of the um, out of the RV and she tripped and fell over a um, over a little barbecue that was like right outside the door. And she fell really hard. And my mom is she's an older lady. She's in her 70s. And so she already has arthritis and she already hurts all of the time anyway. And she tripped and fell and she fell really hard enough to like give herself a black eye, broke her glasses. And so she was walking so stiff and she took some of her pain medicine, but it really wasn't doing, it really wasn't doing anything for her. So I, we finally convinced her that she should um, have some of my, you know, not mine, but some of our edible enhanced brownies and, it did the trick. It took the, it actually caused the pain to go away a little bit, she said. So, <laughs> Devin once spent an entire weekend eating just Skittles. Big mistake. I don't blame you. Fudge brownie M&Ms are like crack. I've never had a fudge brownie M&M, but I will have to try them. I liked the caramel M&Ms. I know a lot of people didn't like them. Um, and I haven't been able to find them really very much anymore. So maybe they pulled them. But I really liked them. But I like just about anything that has caramel in it. Alley Cat says, Swedish fish are amazing. Though their favorite candy is Twix, Hershey's, and Milky Way. Mmm, Milky Way. Oh, I love me some Milky Way. Have you had the sea salt? Milky Ways, they are freaking the bomb. You gotta try them if you haven't had them. Uh, skipped again. I'm like really behind on the comments, guys. Um, yes, Eva, it is Pride Month, so you need to taste the rainbow and that's what Skittles are there for. Um, 
Kate Cavanaugh loves a good gummy bear Alco concoction. Yes, she does. She does. She and I share it. It's she and I share it. We're we're on the same on the same uh, wavelength there. Chloe had to ban drunk gummy bears after someone brought them to a party here, and I had a fish one out of my cat's mouth. Ooh, that's a problem. That is a problem. My cats are not interested in people. Well, the kittens are curious about people food, but the the big cat he doesn't care. He doesn't care at all. Yeah, that's terrible. A mega package of chocolate bars and ate all 16 over the day and nothing else. Yeah, well, I can imagine you had to puke after that. Ugh. Gummy sharks. Hey, Sun Hill, how you doing? Welcome to my channel. I don't think I've seen you here, so welcome, weirdo. Come on in and get weird about words with us. We are going to start another writing sprint here in just a moment. I just want to catch up on the comments just a little bit. Um, so Ali Cat had a weird dream, doesn't remember much about it. They felt like they were in some sort of movie show or video game. and Some of their friends or family were in it. They were on a cruise ship. They also saw, also saw, also saw, can't talk all of a sudden. Also saw other people that they don't remember. Maybe it was Tony Stark and Pepper from Marvel's Iron Man. Don't know. Celebrating the people that graduated like high school kids and stuff. I think it was some sort of party. That sounds anything. But, I mean, that sounds kind of like a strange dream. Sherry said, popcorn is healthy if you don't add anything. That is true. Joanne Ninja Hen researched the name Lion Bar. Oh, Lion Bar. You can't eat them since. Oh, I remember all of my dreams. And they turn into books. I have seven titles thanks to, you know, thanks to, they turn into books and short stories and plays. And, oh, I guess I have eight titles if you count my, my published play. Ah, I have eight titles if you count my published play. I just realized that I just pulled a Lisa. I totally didn't even think about one of the things that I have published. So edibles, I'm talking edibles. That's the difference between normal brownies and enhanced brownies. Yay, I'm really glad, I'm really glad, Lauren. That makes me feel so good. Oh, I feel you, Spence. Take fives are the best. The, the Reese, so the Reese's version I actually found out is the exact same recipe as the original Take Fives. They just rebranded it so that it had the Reese's name on it so that they could get more people buying it that way. So it's actually the exact same thing. Yep. 21 and older in legal areas only, please. With medical cards or whatever it is that you have. Alley Cat says, random fact, ate a whole Hershey's King Size bar in a day and somehow didn't get sick, then ate one in two days another time. I've never been able to do it again. So the the are you talking like the king size bars that are like this big? That's I mean, I could eat one of those easily in a day and not get sick. But I'm also I'm also a thick girl. So um I love me and my candy and I can put my candy away really easily. Hey Marvel Nana! Just wanted to stop in and ask for everyone to say a prayer for all involved in the protest for protection and safety. Just wanted to share that. Not a problem. Um, I have lit a candle or two, so. <laughs> yeah, I pulled a Lisa. I just, I was thinking about my, my published works as far as it's in a book format or a Kindle format. I was totally not thinking about my play that was published. And that was like, the best day of my life when they ex when they accepted my play for publication. I was so super excited because I am such a theater nerd and had never had a play published before. Okay, you definitely got to try the salted caramel Milky Way. It is the bomb. It is so good, like amazeballs. Ellie Cat has a story that they started that was inspired by a dream. Yep. So all, everything I've ever written is inspired by a dream. The only thing that I've written that wasn't inspired directly from a dream 
is my book, Karaoke Jane. And that's the latest book to, to come out in my contemporary women's fiction. And, that be, and that's because that's inspired by true events in my life. And so, but I got the idea for the premise of the book and how to tell that portion of my life from a dream, from um, in my dream, I entered a karaoke contest and it led to like all sorts of crazy good things for me. And I woke up and wrote it down and thought, well, that, you know, that that makes sense because I did all these karaoke, I, I did all this karaoke during this time of my life. And so what I did was, is I turned that time of my life and instead of just doing karaoke, I had her enter into karaoke contests. So um, that, there we go. So that's how that like came about. That's how that book came about. Uh, <laughs> Never apologize for curves, BC. My colors are black and yellow, AKA caution tape. Yes, that is exactly why my colors are black and yellow because warning, everybody needs a warning when it comes to me. They need a warning when it comes to my writing and they need a warning when it comes to me because I'm either going to get crude you're either going to get sass or crass with me, and you're definitely going to get curves. So the novel Nana, yep, doing really great tonight. I am sweating my ass off, but other than that, um, I'm joining to write in. I'm joining the write in, but I am working on brainstorming. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Yep, the king size bar. Yeah, a lot of people get too sick if they eat if they or get sick if they eat too much sugar. I wish I were one of them, but I am not. Also a curvy girl. Woo! I like my curves. I do. Don't get me wrong, you know, I would like to not have to tailor some of my clothes every so often, but that's okay. I'm going to have to do that anyway because I got endowed with like the family. This is the family endowment that we get, we get this and we get the bottom half quite luxuriously. Sherry says that their stories are inspired by their nightmares so far. Hey, you work with what you got. You work with what you got. The novel Nanny, it, N Nana is curvy as well. So sometimes I swear I just look like a double box, but the grandbabies love to call me squishy and soft. Um, so in my family, we call each other fluffy. We are fluffy. And that is definitely what we are. Um, Allie Cat says, that's cool. Mine isn't about my life. About a dude that basically saw his parents get killed in front of him and he wants revenge. He's also in a group that fights other groups since they were told not to trust other groups because they're evil. But my MC wants to find the truth as to why they do that too. Yep. Da, da, da. Destiny says that they are kind, they are just kind of here. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. So there's a lot going on in the world in general, which is causing a lot of people to feel like they're only just kind of here. Um, and then on top of that, we've got whatever's still personal going on in our lives. So if, if you need to be here, um, in order to be social and you need the lifeline of this, then awesome. That I'm glad that we could be here for you. And if there's anything that you need, my DM is open. Just, just let me know and I will do what I can within the confines of the distance between us and the resources at hand. Um, whatever I can do to help out, I will, I will try to do. And Dahl says, all oh, the curves. I don't want them. Who wants them? So um, one of my things coming up is to out is to um, actually start working out more than what I do work out because I've let myself get really lax lately. But that will be added on when we move into the new house. Okay, so let's go ahead and mm, let's go ahead and do another sprint. 
And as Spence was asking, we should sprint so I can put the mini nerd to bed. Okay, that is not a problem. And we are gonna sprint because I have been talking for way too long this time. So we are going to do a 20 minute sprint. Let me get the screen shared. Maybe. Okay. And we are gonna start in three, two, one. Sprint!
All right, that is the end of the sprint. Beep, 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 beep. So tell me how you all did. So Spence is still working on the short revision after their bestie gave a gave them a righteous critique. Ten out of ten. Everybody needs a critique buddy like their best friend. Um, and Sherry was answering my question that yes, she writes dark horror or hor horror dark fantasy. Also planning on trying to write another genres as well. However, all my books are going to have a little bit of horror or something dark in it. Good. I'm glad that you'll check out the video. You are very welcome. Okay, I'm jealous, Lauren. I'm jealous. I'm sweating. Yeah, I just I uh, decided to go ahead and unmute and see if you guys could could hear the level of purr of my kitten if I laid him on the microphone. He got some serious purr action. That's why I call him my little perminator. Novel Nana has, has to phone a friend. That's her critique buddy. She lives far and I literally call her and read her every chapter. Then she gives me all kinds of advice and tells me what needs work. That's a good friend. That is a good friend. Um, also, Novel Nana is not sure how much longer they can stay and brainstorm. Hubby will be coming in from the field shortly, so better go ahead and get his shower stuff ready for him and get a supper plate plated up. That is nice of you. That's really sweet of you. I'm actually going to be ending here in just a few minutes. So that was our last sprint that we were working on. Um, I ended up getting, let me do my little highlighting and my counting. I ended up getting uh, 504 words that time. Very happy to have you join Novel Nana. Anytime, come back and join. Lauren got 50 words. Joanne Ninja Hen got 194 words. Jeannie started messing around with their website, needs an overhaul badly. My website needs a little bit of work too. I've been putting it off until we get into the house pretty much. Wendy Scribbles rewrote a half a page. Novel Nana got two pages brainstormed. Oh, cold room earned was in 91 degree weather earlier today. Yes, cold room is definitely earned at that point. So it is well over 100 something today. Well over 105, I think, today right now in Phoenix. And I wish my house were cool. Wish it were cool. But the 86 that my AC says it's sitting at is not cool. Sherry got 135 words. Checked out the video. Oh, thank you. Cool. Um, I'm glad that you liked the video. I'm glad that it was helpful. And hopefully um, with a little bit of research, you'll be able to kind of pare down what your colors, what colors you're going to be. You are very welcome, Jeannie. I love doing streams. I, I especially love doing these pop-up streams. Um, they are super fun for me. So um, I love just showing up randomly and being a big old weirdo. Yay, Joanne, the end is in sight. I'm glad that you get to go to sleep. Um, Spence got the mini nerd in his bed, got 69 official words and a few sentences handwritten. Always good. I'm glad that you had fun, Sherry. Eva says website schmebshites. She's been working on hers for ages. It'll never be done. <laughs> I'm always reworking mine, always reworking mine. All right, see you, Novel Nana. Hey, Heather, good to see you. I know you've been popping in and out. Yep, being a weirdo is a good thing. That's why I like it so much. Alley Cat is, got 204 words at time. So close to 5K. You could do it, Alley Cat. I know you could do it. Rah, rah, Alley Cat. You could do it. You could do it. Okay, and don't forget to um, head on over to Savvy Writes Books, where I will be co-hosting on her live stream just after this. Um, it starts at uh, 10 p.m. Eastern time, so that's when it starts. Uh, so it'll be starting in 40 minutes, 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah, Heather, so hi and bye at the same time. It's a hi and a bye. So hopefully, Allie, we will get you at the 5K point um, by, you know, 
between my stream, Doll's stream earlier, Lisa's stream, Savvy's stream. I'm sure there are some other streams going on too, but the sleepover is the most important thing and it is coming up here in just a few minutes. So um, basically I wanna say thanks to everybody for joining me for the stream today. I know I just have been doing these pop-ups randomly and it's always so touching that everybody enjoys them so much and um, is just super happy that I am streaming. So, um, <laughs> CO says, already in my jammies and so ready for Savvy stream. I am too. I am ready to, um, I want to have a drink, but unless my roommate brings something home, then, uh, yes, I can post the link. Um, actually, the link is down below, but let me bring it up real quick um, and I can post the link for it. <laughs> I do have Savvy's link linked down below, but I am more than happy to post the link. It'll be a little easier than having to go through and look through all of the links, which I do have in alphabetical order, but I can post it in there, no problem. Uh, let me just grab it. My computer's still being slow, of course. So, and tonight specifically, just a, as a reminder, tonight's sleepover is, um, tonight's sleepover is also a fundraiser. So, um, I'm trying to remember. Um, yes, it will go, um, all the proceeds will go to help rebuild black owned small businesses in Chicago and Minnesota. Um, Savvy's got more details about that and we'll have more details about that on the stream, but that is what the fundraiser will go to tonight. So she does have super chat that is enabled. So, um, you definitely should check out, um, Savvy stream tonight because the stream will not only be beneficial to ourselves, um, as writers, but it will be beneficial to helping rebuild black owned businesses, small businesses, because we know Savvy is all about small businesses. Um, all right, so that is the end of my stream for today. Um, I didn't get as much done as I was hoping to get done, but I'm just going to continue it right on into Savvy's stream, and so it'll be fine. I am going to grab myself something to eat, but basically, me in a nutshell is I am BC, and this is BC Brown Books, where we get weird about words in the ways that pretty much only writers can. We write them, and we do it together. Um, for those who are new to my channel, welcome, Writing Weirdos. I am so glad that you popped in to see me. For those that are returning, thank you so much for always returning and being here and being so supportive of me during my writing journey, but I'm happy that I can be supportive of you during your writing journey as well. I am the hybrid published author of eight titles because I forgot about that play. And... Um, I also post how-to writing, marketing, and publishing videos every Monday and Wednesday. And normally, I host a live stream every Friday from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And you can find me at all of my social medias, which are pretty much up here. BC Brown Books. I like to keep it simple, y'all. I might keep it weird, but I like to keep it simple. And on that note, I will see you all in the soon. Keep getting weird about your words, okay? Bye.